All right, baseball is back, but the Pirates are not home today, so we are planning to take a tour of PNC Park. Okay, welcome to PNC Park, the best ballpark in America. Any other time, unless you make some the Pirates. Yeah, after I get my brief here. Look at this. Yeah. Look at another player clearing in, clearing in pitches and they'll just you know work on the timing over here also over here you see a lot of tees during the year uh, a lot of people are surprised but MLB ball players they still use the tee again just to get their swing down and their mechanics down um, everything that's done in here is on camera you look at the cameras over here on the walls both sides so uh, the guys if they want to analyze their swing they're it's, they're able to do so they can even watch them on these flat screens here or they can go back and watch them in the class Okay, we're obviously in the press box. Uh, there's approximately 120 positions up here. Seating is assigned. Pittsburgh beat writers get the best seats because they're here all the time. When the ballpark first opened in 2001, was, they didn't have windows in front there. He was a, a real uh, famous announcer here for years, but uh, his, his nickname was a gunner because he had a real raspy voice and he talked a mile a minute. And he was kind of like Harry Carey, a real homer. You know, when you listened to, you turned him on, you knew who, who he was rooting for. Big Pirate fan. But I remember as a little kid, I turned the radio on, and he'd be talking about everything but the game. Yeah, he'd be saying, yeah, I went out to dinner last night with my wife to the country club. I ran into Steve Blass and his kids, and oh, uh, Bill, Maz Ross just hit a homer. But uh, he was really, really a, a real character. But he had a lot of crazy sayings, and all those sayings are on this jacket here. Uh, for example, his home run call was kiss it goodbye. Uh, he'd say we had him all the way, even though they say the, at the end of the game if the Pirates won, even if the Pirates were losing seven to nothing, and they came back and went, won eight to seven, he'd say we had him all the way. Or uh, 
And also saying a, a real close play, that was closer than Fuzz on a tick's ear. But he was just a, a real character. He dri- yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, there. yeah. But he, uh, he, he was really popular here. All right, guys, we're back at the start. If you are in town and the Pirates are not, I definitely recommend you come here for a tour. The tour guides are awesome, and it was a really cool experience. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.